On Tuesday, Michigan State Police confirmed that Kayla Sadowski was murdered. As far as how she was killed, they're not releasing that quite yet. On March 2nd, 2023, the Michigan State Police got a call about a possible break-in in an abandoned juvenile detention center. When they arrived, they found the body of 23-year-old Kayla Sadowski. She was covered in a tarp. She had been shot three times in the back of the head and pronounced dead on the scene. The Michigan State Police started an investigation a week later, but didn't get too many leads. It wasn't until a year later, in a very complex investigation, that the Michigan State Police arrested six suspects. Investigators did not disclose a possible motive in the case, but did say that at one point, Sadowski and all of the people charged in the murder did live together in an apartment. Stephen Bales and his wife, Norena Bales, were arrested in North Carolina just a month after Sadowski's death. She had been shot three times, tied up and covered in a tarp. Kalo's body was found on March 2nd in the abandoned Boysville Juvenile Detention Center by teens that broke into the building. Now again, there are six suspects in this case. Stephen Bales is the fourth person to be convicted. Norena Bales and Sierra Bemis already pled guilty to second degree homicide. Alexander Faco pled guilty to tampering with evidence and three counts of accessory to homicide after the fact. Then Bryn Smith and Kayla Ramsey are both awaiting trial for first degree homicide and conspiracy to commit homicide. Stephen Bales faces to life in prison. This is a case of fake friends. Obviously, she looked like she was the brightest apple out of the bunch. Whatever hatred they have for her, they taken that with them to the grave. Because nobody said anything about a possible motive. This was a sad story. 23 years old. She has so much life to live. God bless her soul.